Hello everyone, I'm the Saxy Gamer here with some more gaming news. Today it's more so tech news though because we're going to talk all about GPUs. So getting right into things, we got some benchmarks for the RX 480. As you can see in 3D Mark at 1080p, it is slightly edged out by the GTX 970, but when it comes to gameplay in Tomb Raider, it is able to beat it out with 92.6 FPS, so it's just a few frames higher. Uh, and some various other experimental tests here. Just uh, as you can see, the performance is pretty good. It is able to get over uh, 60 FPS in some games, but actually in some it's not, which is, I mean, I guess it's decent for the card. It is a quite cheap card, so even so, you're still getting a lot of uh, performance for your money. And that really is where the RX 480 shines. It's in performance per dollar. But anyways, moving on, at 1440p, the uh, the card is able to still edge out the GTX 970, and it's able to keep above above 30 FPS at 1440p pretty regularly. Luckily, the 8 gigs of VRAM do help with that. And it's a decent performer, but certainly for $200, it's going to be very hard to beat. Also in the news today, we have some news regarding the GTX 1060, which is, of course, the little brother to the GTX 1070, which is the little brother to the GTX 1080, and you know it's all fun and dandy. But we have this leaked image, which uh, shows the card. I actually like this design more than the 1070 and 1080, just because I like the sleek black that it has. So that should be, uh, that should be pretty awesome. As far as the specs go, for the GTX 1060, we have 1280 CUDA cores. It is running on GP106 instead of GP104, which is what the 1070 and 1080 use and as far as uh, VRAM goes it's either 3 or 6 gigs of GDDR5 with a 192 bit bus. The car is going to retail approximately for $250 that's just speculation because Nvidia kind of has to to compete with the RX 480 because if they price it too high then they're going to screw themselves over and if it's too powerful then they're going to screw over the GTX 1070 and it's just a whole boatload of fun for Nvidia figuring out where to put this card. Unfortunately though, that is the end of our news today. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to like. If not, feel free to dislike. If you're looking for more, feel free to subscribe. We're almost at 200 subs, so hopefully we can get there by, I don't know, the end of this week or next week. But thank you for watching. I've been the Saxy Gamer, going over some tech news. Thank you, and goodbye.